What is up guys? We are in beautiful Tampa Bay, Florida. Uh, we're just in the car right now. Me and my mother decided to take a trip down here to get on a cruise ship to go to Grand Cayman and Cozumel. So we're super excited. We're just driving around here trying to kill some time, maybe see some sights before we get on this big cruise ship. Um, we're taking a carnival cruise and I think the cruise ship's name is Carnival Majesty. No. Yep. Isn't Fantasy. it? Fantasy. No. It is Majesty. Yes, Majesty. That's you, you said fantasy yesterday. See, we both no, I said uh, mistook paradise. this ship. I said Majesty, she said fantasy, <laughs> but it's paradise. actually paradise. <laughs> so we got confused. We don't know where we're going, but we're just going to have a good time. So. We're just driving around here. It's beautiful outside. Gorgeous day to get on the cruise ship. Palm trees are everywhere. I'm loving it. And uh, we're gonna try to do this all on one SD card. I didn't bring my computer <laughs> with me. So this will be hopefully enough uh, video SD card space to do this whole trip. I think it will be. We're gonna see. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll update you in a little while once we get on the cruise ship. Peace. Pretty big and pretty nice. We're just sitting out here on the adult deck, Serenity deck, just chilling in some lounge chairs and uh, watching us leave right now. There's a cool little Navy ship right in front of that Florida Aquarium that we're just passing and here's some uh, buildings and stuff of Tampa as we pass by. Just kind of left an industrial area over there. So. Pretty neat. Heading out of the Bay Area now, and um, I'll update you guys in a little bit. Very beautiful day though, just a few clouds in the sky. The sun's been shining basically the whole day. Trouble we can get into tonight. Catch you later. Just got a little further out. I just wanted to take a minute to pop the video back on. It's just gorgeous out here. Off of this point, it's an old little lighthouse. There's a couple, a few row teams out there too, actually, if y'all can see that in the distance here to the left. Super cool.
What is up guys? Welcome back uh, for another little update here. Um, just got back to the room and we're going to take some showers after laying out in the sun for a couple hours or so and go have some fun tonight. So, it's still pretty gorgeous outside. Just looking at the waves from our ocean view room. You know, pretty standard room, but uh, we decided to get the outside one instead of the inside cabin, so we could have that window. It's pretty cool. These beds are pretty small, but they're actually pretty comfy, so it's fun. And a little TV. So yeah, we're just chilling. This has been a really relaxing day and I'm looking forward to this evening and uh, getting to Grand Cayman tomorrow morning and getting off and going exploring so hopefully we can see some cool things tomorrow on the beach at Grand Cayman. I think we're going to go to um, Seven Mile Beach and probably shop around a little bit so stay tuned. I'm about to go get some Scrubs and some grubs. Catch you later. How many people are going to have at your wedding? Oh, uh, like 55, 58.
Hey guys, we just got off the cruise ship and we just landed on the gorgeous Seven Mile Beach. Just took a taxi over here. You can see the cruise ship in the background of me. Uh, it is gorgeous out here. Water is so clear and blue and it's a beautiful day and I'm loving it. We're just kind of walking around here trying to figure out if we want a $12 chair and not to rent oh, or if we just want to lay out on the towels. Um, so yeah. I'm ready to get some relaxing in. Just absolutely beautiful. Take a picture of you on the beach. I'm filming. Just tell me where you want to park it, if you see a place. Maybe that place to see where you are. Got a drone. It's cool. Probably takes really awesome pictures and videos.
of us yet, you too. I will be. So we leave here around like 2.30, or we had to be on the ship at 2.30. Um, and we got off for around like 9.45, 10 o'clock, so. Just a few hours here, I'm gonna sign off and I'm just gonna go have some fun, see what I can do. See you later, peace. We are now leaving Cayman Islands. And on the coast of Mel. We are in the beautiful Cozumel. We had just got off the ship. You can barely see it over there a little bit. But um, absolutely gorgeous out here. And this is just kind of like a bizarre section of that we're in right now. Let's see the Mexican flag. Bunch of vegetation and uh, kind of like Aztec type things and also your duty free liquor of course which is basically at every port there is the fin from our carnival cruise ship over there we're very excited though to be here we're gonna go on a a catamaran snorkel and beach excursion here in just a, f a minute, a few minutes, and I'll be taking video of that as well. So,
So I forgot to uh, record the last day of the cruise. Uh, we, it was just a sea day, but uh, we were just kind of having so much fun. I completely forgot to make a video of the last day, and I apologize for that. Sorry, but uh, I will say that it was very relaxing, and that you know we had a bunch of uh, good time together, uh, hanging out by the pool, going to the casino, going to the last show on the cruise ship, and like, you know, just having a good time at dinner and everything. It was, it was nice. I liked it. Uh, it was a very good time with my mom. Uh, we haven't done that in like nine years. Um, just had a trip, just the two of us, so it was something special, and I, I definitely cherish it. Um, but yeah, uh, let me tell you what happened when we got off the cruise ship, though. Um, so, you know, they say, re you know, welcome back to reality or whatever when you get back from a nice vacation, uh, you know. So, reality fucking hit. <laughs> uh, we got off the cruise ship. Um, first of all, we woke up. I looked out the window on the ship, and we were still moving. Uh, we were supposed to get up around, like, 7... Like be, be where we were supposed to be, around like 7:30 in the morning. Uh, the cruise ship did not get into port until about like 9, 9:15. We got off at like 9:30, 9:20, maybe 9:30, yeah. And uh, so we were already like at a late start. They they were saying that there was too much traffic in the port to uh, to be there on time. So we, I guess. Uh, the, you know, people who were uh, steering the ship, you know, making the ship go, uh, they're just like, okay, let's ease off. 
so we don't have any kind of trouble just kind of like sitting there when we get there or whatever. So, um, yeah, minor setback. So, you know, we got a later start than we wanted to heading back to uh, home, towards home. Um, and then we got off the cruise ship and we put our stuff in the car, no trouble there. We found the car again, thank God. <laughs> uh, I remember right where it was, so no trouble finding the car. Got in the car. We needed to gas up before we started to drive home. Uh, it was about like nine and a half hour drive. And uh, that was from Tampa to Charlotte. And uh, we noticed that her tire pressure light had come on. And so, you know, while we were getting gas, I just decided to look at all four tires, make sure they were fine. Uh, lo and behold, there, the front left, the driver's left tire, driver's side, was very low. Um, it wasn't like, you know, oh my god, we are totally flat low, but it was definitely enough to be like, alright, so there might be a leak. Because um, all the other tires were fine, you know, and the, her car, it's not that old. Uh, the tires on it weren't that old either really. Um, I did see some kind of cracking in the sidewall which is indicative of like you know getting uh, you know older so like you know they weren't perfect but they're definitely drivable tires you know. Um, so we pulled around to put have me put some air in her tire and uh, I was just checking you know the whole radius the circumference of the tire and everything and uh, I found a big ass screw like directly in the middle of the tire which uh, if you have to have a screw in a tire that's definitely one of the best places to have one because it's repairable uh, so yeah reality hit uh, we had to find a tire shop on a Saturday on a sunny Saturday in Tampa that would be able to get us in at a reasonable time and out um, the first one that we drove to, they were just like, yeah, it's gonna be like 2 p.m. And I was like, you know what, that's a wrap, like, <laughs> uh, we can't do that. We have to drive all the way back to Charlotte. So, we tried to find another place. Fortunately, this tire shop, uh, Firestone, uh, tire shop was gracious and, uh, thankful to have us come in that, you know, like we, they, they're just like, yeah, we'll get you in and out and it'll be like 11.30. So we took the lesser of two evils. That wasn't too bad, you know. So, um, they got us, you know, fixed up and everything and me and my mom just kind of went to the mall, which was right there next to the tire shop. Uh, so we had something to do while we were there and uh, while we were waiting and stuff, and it, uh, it all turned out fine. We, we got on the road and we drove without hitch, uh, without a, a hiccup for the rest of the day, and that was fine. Um, so yeah, that, just a little slap of reality though. When we uh, got back in the port, uh, I think that was funny. Uh, just how everything uh, hits you at once sometimes, so. All in all, it was a wonderful trip. Um, I'm kind of late actually taking this video. Um, it's been a few days now since the cruise got off um, and we got home and everything. I've been doing a lot of work on the house. Uh, we finally got uh, an appraisal on the house uh, like we needed to to get a better rate on a loan that we were doing with them, with the bank. And uh, we got that out of the way. And let me say I'm very pleased with the uh, level that we're at right now and you know like I, it just makes my feelings for the time I put into this house and everything just so much more enjoyable when I see success and when I see that uh, you know when I see the fruits of my labor come into play and uh, start to take form and uh, aren't just you know pieces of wood or holes in the floor. <laughs> oh man, it's been a ride getting this house done. Um, I'm actually right in the middle of uh, 
just tearing out the whole master bathroom right now. It's a freaking mess. And, um, you know what? I'm gonna fucking show you real quick. Let's do that. This is what I'm working with, guys. Now, this is the worst room in the house. Uh, if you watch some of my other videos, I mean, it's basically just the same. But, uh, this, this is new. <laughs> I have done some major banging in here. And, uh, you know, it looks, uh, looks good. I like it, don't y'all? I think it's a nice addition to the house. It really exposes the natural wood and, uh, the antique piping in this house. I love it. Um, so yeah, we're, uh, that, that's just the last section of tile I have to bust out. I'm kind of nervous about it because there's brick on the other side. I probably shouldn't be nervous to bang on it, but, um, for whatever reason, I'm kind of held up on that. But, uh, I'm just kind of waiting for a trailer right now to get all this debris out and then we can move forward actually. Uh, I'm gonna put a wall on the other side of this wall. I'm gonna put the new structure in place, uh, a couple walls right there. And uh, so I can kind of encapsulate all of this. I'm gonna cut out this part of the wall. I'm gonna completely get rid of it and expand into that office, uh, that bedroom, the other bedroom. That we've actually been staying in. Uh, we moved into that room over across the hall now actually just because I know that we're getting ready to go in full force on this construction and um, it's been fun busting this stuff out I'll tell you but it's a lot of work busting it out too. That wire mesh in behind the tile with the concrete like stuck to it is kind of just tedious to get off um, and it took a little bit of time but I was able to get you know, all of it done and everything. No problem. Uh, it took me a couple days to do that. Um, I had to bust the tile off the floor and there's like three and a half inches of concrete below it that I've been busting out too. And, uh, you know, obviously I took the sink and the, the toilet out here. Um, thankfully I did not hit any pipes or anything because that would have been kind of like a nightmare for just a, a second. Um, I can turn the water at the water main off, but, you know, I'd rather not have to go get a piece of hardware, uh, an end cap or whatever, or a new valve, uh, and have to work on the pipe because we're moving all of this plumbing and everything. Everything is coming up, um, to accommodate for a new walk-in shower, double vanity, uh, different sink location, and also a different toilet position as well. Um, so we've got a lot of work cut out for this room and it is gonna look spot on perfect, I hope, when we are all done with it. And uh, this room needs a lot of work too. I'm just excited to go ahead and tear into things. Um, it's gonna be a pleasure seeing that. Uh, it's actually probably gonna be one of my favorite things besides this kitchen. Uh, that I've done on this house so far. So it's a beautiful day and uh, usually when I take videos it's actually kind of rainy so it's, uh, it's a nice day out and I'm loving it. I gotta do a lot of yard work too. Got some sticks to pick up. I'm gonna till the whole yard uh, at some point in the near future hopefully and uh, plant grass seed and have it looking like a professional yard master lives here. Um, so, yeah, uh, lots of stuff going on, I'm really busy, still trying to get ready for the wedding, um, got a lot of last minute kind of detail to finish, and, um, you know, so it's just like all kind of coming together at once, and, uh, I'm really excited, I know Kayla is excited. And um, we're ready to start our future together and to uh, go on this crazy adventure called life. So bring it, you know. Uh, I think that the the better that um, you know I get this house in shape and stuff for us, uh, the the happier that she'll be. I know she's uh, you know she doesn't mind at all that like. You know, we're living in a house that is under construction. I think it's actually kind of fun for her to look at what I'm doing and to kind of come in every day um, 
or every other day and kind of just see progress without having to do it. I think that's kind of neat to be able to do too because she works so hard and like, you know, she has a lot of things that are on our on her plate right now and I think that, you know, the more productivity I can get out of, you know, making the best use of my time every day, uh, the more pleased I'll make her and, you know, I'll definitely be pleased personally. Um, but man, like, uh, up until, like, you know, about a couple days ago, I was just kind of, like, spinning my wheels because I, I couldn't tear into anything, and I was, like, itching to get some stuff done, and, like, I wanted to tear into stuff. I like banging shit up and, like, messing it up and making a mess. And uh, I love the building process, too. Uh, I'm just kind of, like... A nerd for for houses at this point like I'm hooked I'm ready I'm willing and I just want to go for it and I want to go big and you know I think this is the perfect house uh, for our first house again for us I mean like it it's been a blessing it's been a real pleasure um, not only to get to work on something that is ours but to also, you know, be able to work with my dad on it. Um, that's something that I never thought that I would be able to do while he was still around because, you know, like, um, I just, I didn't think I would own a house this soon in life and have him be able to actually come, like, work on it with me and stuff. It's, it's really a special thing. And, uh, you know, I value my time. I value my time with him. And I think that um, it's definitely brought us closer together. Uh, not that we weren't close already, but uh, just kind of like a bonding experience between me and him and like just being able to work alongside of him. That's, that's always been my dream, you know, um, to do whatever he's doing. I mean, like, um, you know, at one point I went into steel fabrication um, I never thought I would do anything like that, but like I was in framing at first and I had an opportunity to go into steel fabrication with the company that he was working with and I took it like immediately. I just like dropped the other job that I had. I think I had, uh, yeah, so I just worked with, uh, I was getting trained. It was like my first day of the first week of training at this, uh, like roofing insurance kind of company or whatever it's called Ridge Valley Roofing uh, out of Charlotte and um, you know the opportunity came up I had already applied for uh, Zachary Industrial which was the steel fab shop that um, I was trying to work for uh, with the company that my dad actually designed piping and everything for he's a chemical engineer and uh, I just I had to take it I mean it was like a a shot in a lifetime, it felt like, you know, to uh, to work and make the stuff that he designed. And so, like, that was really cool. This house, though, much more meaningful because it's ours. And, uh, you know, he's got vision, and I got vision through him, and, like, he's really teaching me a lot about it. And uh, I think this is going to be, like, a real big success. Um... It's already a success. I mean, uh, just from the uh, appraisal number that we got the other day, like, um, it really showed me what you can do if you put in some hard work, even when it doesn't feel like it's achievable or coming very fast, you know, just be patient. And um, this house has definitely taught me a lot of patience and a lot of uh, other good things uh, about myself. and just uh, to see how far I can go. Um, so yeah, enough with my ramble, I'm sorry. But, uh, you know, thanks for uh, stopping in and uh, watching this video, if you're still watching. Thank you so much uh, for your loyalty, and, you know, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm sure that it'll be, like, a couple parts or whatever. I think this will probably be the second part. But, uh, good stuff, and, um, you know, if you're new here and you're still watching, drop a like, subscribe to my channel, um, 
this is probably the first time, this is the first time that I posted in a little bit, but uh, I'm trying to uh, kind of just do a lot of things right now. If you'll stick with me, I got some good content for you. So hang in there. I hope y'all are doing well. It's a great day. Get outside. Go do some stuff. I came back from the gym just a few minutes ago before I started making this video. Um, you know, getting my workout on, trying to get buff, get that, you know, energy up, get those endorphins running. Uh, it's been a good day for me so far. I'm about to go and bust some more shit out and clean the house up a little bit because it's getting dusty. Uh, inevitably from the construction so I've got my work cut out for me today and I will see you later I'll look forward to uh, getting you some new content here within the next half month or so uh, that is a promise so I uh, love you all see ya